So becoming a toxic leader is really simple, but if you've had struggle figuring it out, I've got a few ideas to help you on your way. Hey, I'm Adrian Kaler. I'm executive coach to founders, entrepreneurs, and corporate executives, and welcome to Toxic Leadership. Toxic Leadership seems to be all the rage right now, so I thought I'd do a video about how to help you be as toxic as possible. So here we go. So make it all about you, you know, the thing you're looking for. So you are the center of the universe and everything just spins right around you, number one. Next, be a hypocrite. Don't mean anything you say. You can change your mind whenever you want and rewrite the course of history. Be a special case. Nobody knows how hard it is to be you. That's why you have to rewrite the rules for yourself whenever you want, otherwise you would just die. Be divisive, you know, separate the whole world by who's on your side and who's not on your side, who's as smart as you and who's not as smart as you, who sees your talent and who can't even understand or fathom how special you are, and who agrees with you and who disagrees with you. The ends justifies the means. You can do whatever the hell you want, it's okay. Give yourself license, just do it, roll over people, steamroll them, backbite, rip them in two. You are the boss after all. You can just do whatever the hell you want. The end justifies the means. Make sure you motivate by shame or pressure. You know these incompetent people that you gotta babysit all day? You gotta better be hard on them, otherwise they're gonna get all lazy. Motivate by shame or pressure. You know shame is the most powerful motivator, so use it to your advantage. Treat people however you want to. You know why? Because you pay them. Make sure you keep a long record of their wrongs and don't let them forget it. Make sure you practice being two-faced. Be the nice guy to them. Even if they say something you don't agree with, just say, that's a great idea. In general, make sure they adore you deeply and require their unquestionable devotion to you, the leader. And if you can get them to fan you with fronds and feed you grapes, that's a bonus. Remind them on a regular basis you have zero room for weakness. And finally, make sure anyone that asks for help is viewed as incompetent and fully ridiculed. I hope you found this guide to maximize your toxicity and leadership helpful. Please like and subscribe and remember, your people don't like you anyway.